Hello, in this Visual Basic programming tutorial, I am going to show you text boxes. So, text boxes are pretty awesome. You, it allows you to input text into it, and then you can do whatever you want. Maybe you click a button, and then that text is saved in a database, or an email gets sent, and the text from that could be the email address, so it could form a login form, for example. To add a text box, open up toolbox from here. If it if it's not on the right hand side or even the left hand side let's go to view and click toolbox mine's already here lucky for me and from here you can you know just go to all windows forms and find it there or just go to common controls and it will be down here and there's like a variety of controls just in the common control section there's so many it's just amazing what they provide they even provide one called, one called web browser which is really cool that was one of my first projects that I ever did when I was coding. I learned Visual Basic, which was my first ever programming language. And I remember creating a web browser. It had, you know, the web browser component, a couple of buttons, which, you know, backwards and forwards, a home button, refresh button, and a text box for the URL. That was it. Just felt so amazing when I first did that. I was like, yeah. I remember thinking at the time, this is going to be my main browser forever. It wasn't. It, I literally switched the next day. <laughs> to to having fight back to Firefox. Okay, so text box. So if we just drag that on, select default in the language property to return to the default from when I had components. Okay, so there seems to be some property that I've changed to do with the language, and you probably won't have this issue at all. So you should be all good. If you do, you know how to fix it now. So text box, boom, there we go. So, you know, you can increase the size, which is really cool, like so. And some really cool things in Visual Basic where it helps us, you know, just to arrange stuff. So let's say if we want it like that, like so. And if we have it selected, go to properties, so we can select the background color, so the border style as well. So it's a fixed 3D, we could you know change it as an extra task. Feel free to have a go. Change the font. There's like you know so, so like I said, there's so many properties that you can change. Remember the name is the actual name variable name or the unique name of the text box. So a common name for text box is you know txt. And then we could put I'll just call it txt awesome. So now if I were to let's say double click this form. And when the form is loaded, I'm going to do txt awesomes dot, and I could change the text, and I could assign it to something. So I'll say hello world, save it, and as you can see, there's no text in here. But if I run it, it has hello world in there, and you know we can type stuff in there. Obviously, at the moment we can't do anything with it. You might be thinking, oh, why is this, you know, sort of clipped when we run it? and there's a cool property that you can choose so if you select the text box go to properties and we want to actually change the size so if we do anchor and we do this as well and now if we run it okay so what happened did that property even get changed okay now let's run it. Okay, let's start. Oh, do, 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 do. Why am we unable to fully see it? That will be an issue. I'm going to guess with. I think it's to do with the way the window is sized in the properties and I've got a, a zoom factor as well on my screen to help you see easier but you can see what I mean in terms of the scaling so if I were to you know, just resize this down and say if I put it in the, sorry, in the center it just sort of scales accordingly Okay, so that's where text box is. Now there's a variety of properties that you can, you know, use. You can change the font, the font color. You can choose a password char, which is pretty cool actually. So go to properties, go to password char. 
will be here somewhere. So if we, let's say we put asterisk in there, now I'm running. If we type something, it'll be an asterisk. And we could actually, you know, do some crazy stuff with this. So we can maybe put, I don't know, Bob. Ah, uh, sorry, it needs to be one character. And every time we type something, I'm actually, I'm literally typing in hello world, but it's just all bees. That's pretty darn cool. That's it for text boxes. That's a bunch of properties. Feel free to check them out over the next few videos as I add more components, such as buttons and labels, etc. We'll combine them together to actually be able to manipulate them. So when we do something, we'll, you know, actually use the component. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next programming tutorial.